Hello, East Lansdowne, and welcome back to, I believe, our fifth edition of A Time Is Yours with Mayor Bland. I am your mayor, Joe Bland, and I am so happy and privileged to be sitting here today with some wonderful people. Uh, we, I call it SCS, but it stands for Senior Community Services. Is that, is that right? Yeah, All right, yeah. awesome. We got a wonderful team here. I'm going to start to my far left with Miss Christine Helmendahler. Yes, thank you. And what's your role with SCS, Christine? Hi, everyone. Um, I work for Senior Community Services. I am the center director at Friendship Circle Senior Center. I also uh, wear another hat for the agency. I am the Aging at Home Program Director. So one program gears for you in-house to provide meaningful activities in the center. And then my second role helps extend to the home, helps seniors to get a little bit of comfort and support as they age in place. That's Thank awesome. You. That's awesome. We're well, great to have you here. And we'll dive in. Uh, a little bit later on and talk about all the wonderful programs that you guys have over there. And to my immediate left, a wonderful gym here <laughs> for our borough, uh, Miss Elaine Brown. Is Hi, Joe. Uh, for me, I am a resident of Lans East Lansdowne. I've been here for about 17 years mm -hmm. and I am a member of the of Friendship Circle. And there, I have so many activities that I totally enjoy. Uh, in fact, my husband once said, I think I better send a cot over there for you because I'm there so much and I just love it. Yes, awesome. And I misspoke, it's Mrs. Elaine Brown, and I apologize for that. And to my right, we have the wonderful Diana, is it Twizzler or Twistler? Twistler. Twistler. I apologize for that. But welcome. Uh, Diana is a program coordinator for the caregivers. Program manager for the caregiver uh, support program in that's, Delaware County. That's why I don't talk as much. <laughs> that's why it's not. But um, so what is your role? In so I head the caregiver support program. Um, we are, we work, we're self-contracted with COSA. So it's one of the programs from COSA that we handle. There's the options program and the caregiver support program, but I'm the head of the caregiver support And just for context, for those viewers who may not know, what is COSA? The County Office of Services for the Aging. For the Aging, exactly. So I want to thank all these beautiful young women for being here with us today. And I want to follow up on a question that was asked, um, that my team told me, was asked from a, 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 a person um, on Facebook, which I'm terrible at, by the way, and I have to get better. Um, at Facebook and Instagram and the other social media platforms. But they asked about this day here um, and asked if we were having an in-live person event. And the answer to that is no. It's, uh, it's recorded, but we hope to have some in-person events with senior community services sometime down the line. Mm -hmm. So that's the goal. So I hope that answers your question. I never got a call. Um, from you, but I hope, I really hope that that answers you, uh, any questions that you may have had. All right, so let's get to who you are and what do you do. Overall, the program, let's talk about seeing community services from your perspective and your role and the services that you provide to our seniors. Christine. Thank you. Um, Friendship Circle is a wonderful center, engaging people in activities. But I can only share as the leader um, all the beautiful programs that we coordinate. I'd like Elaine to begin discussion on what we actually do at the center, but to give her that introduction, Senior Community Services um, is the guru for senior services in Delaware County. It's your first touch to connect for finding out what is going on. Uh, Diana here will connect you with COSA if you need further services. We can send a social worker out to provide an assessment once connected with COSA. Um, in my role, Aging at Home, Aging at Home is a program offered at 16 municipalities that provides a little assistance. It touches on 
what are the resources for seniors? Um, and I'm excited to share on a holistic perspective. Now we're giving out the fruit and vegetable coupons. So come to the center on Tuesdays between the hours of 9 and 12. Friendship Circle can issue you a $24 coupon that you can cash out at different pop-up tents like Lansdowne or Tinicum or Linville Orchards. But we are issuing them to all seniors 60 and over. There is an income guideline, but it's really, um, we want people to enjoy, eat healthy, and um, promote Pennsylvania fresh vegetables. That's great. So you ask people to come by the center. Could you tell us where the center is located at? That's it. Friendship Circle is East Lansdowne Center, one of these, it is East Lansdowne Center. We're located on the Trinity Mercy Catholic parking lot campus on the Yaden side, directly across from Holy Cross Cemetery next to Providence. Um, the center is known for its healthy steps activities, some exercise classes. We have a huge following with men playing cards and shooting pool. And our congregate meals, people that eat in the center to enjoy food together, is, is a highlight of the center as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. So Mrs. Brown, let's talk about your experience, your role that you play, and just you know all that the program has offered you. Okay, what I do want to start by saying, I used to think before I became a senior set, a senior, that um, senior centers were places where people played cards and they sat around and they kind of were like uh, immobile. But now I find that our senior center is just so full of activity. I for first, I'll just give you some of the things that I do. First of all, on Mondays, we have an art class where we do watercolor and sometimes we even do uh, oil. I love it. I didn't really realize how much talent I had for art until I started the art classes. And when I'm in that class, I get so absorbed until if a friend comes to the door to get my attention, they say, Elaine, you never look up. <laughs> I'm into art. Then on Tuesdays now, we have a quilting class. And in that quilting class, we are now doing, a, 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 I'd say, a, a sampler of wonderful little squares. And our teacher, Roberta, is just so thorough that we have people that are uh, established quilters. They sew, and we also have people who have never sewn before. Wow. And we are getting so much out of that. That's Monday and Tuesday. Then Wednesday, we have Healthy Steps. And that's where our director, Karen, actually uh, gives us uh, low uh, 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 activities, I would say. Mm -hmm. they stay, but we're always so energized, and uh, we end with a quiet time where we put our fingers together and we just meditate. But the, the Healthy Steps really, really is such a, a good and wonderful thing that we really enjoy. And then after that, we have bingo. So oh, wow. we play bingo for about an hour or so, and uh, really low, like we play for dimes. So it's mm -hmm. all fun, just total fun. And um, after that, I usually go home. But then there's Thursday. So on Thursday, we have Bible study. Oh, wow. And the Bible study class is so motivational. Our director, or I'd say our, our leader, Sharon, has a way about her until you just enjoy being in her presence. And when you leave, you feel uh, like whatever's coming up for the rest of that week, or that whatever it is, you just feel like, I can get through this because I have had a spiritual uh, uh, awakening or renewal, and I just love that also. And then just, I don't always go to the, um, we have a yoga class at nine o'clock that on Thursdays, mm -hmm. which is chair yoga, and I go to that when I can. Uh, and that's also wonderful. Wow. And then on Fridays, we have a weaving class, and I never did any kind of weaving before. But this weaving class is just so wonderful. I even have a little uh, um, a, a cosmetic bag mm -hmm. in my bag over there. Uh, and um, I, just, I just love it. It's like, you know, the, I have to say actually, with Friendship Circle, it has opened up so many new things for me. Awesome. That, and I just, I, I, and it just seems like there's no end to what we are learning. 
I learned Spanish in school, but then I had a Spanish class at Friendship Circle, and I just could go on and on. I absolutely love it. I feel as though it's a family. I feel as though uh, I, for people that don't have uh, someone that they can sit down and have a meal with, you can be there and you can enjoy being with people and knowing you're eating healthy foods. That's amazing. So I absolutely love Friendship Circle. So does Mr. Brown ever see you? Uh, off and on he does. <laughs> <laughs> right now he's kind of homebound. Uh, so I'm going to be working, tr uh, trying to get some services for him. Sure, okay. But um, I know he just recently came to the uh, Memorial Day celebration yes, there. Yes, and yes. he had a wonderful time. Yes. So, and he, I think that's the uh, jump off point for him to say, I'm going to try to do more at Friendship Circle. That's, a, that's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. I love that. You guys offer a whole host of things. And that is so refreshing. I'm kind of jealous because I'm not old enough yet to, to, <laughs> to uh, come out, but hopefully. So given that, great segue, what is the age requirement to be a member? So we, in our bylaws, 55 is the magic age for a Friendship Circle Senior Center to join in. And Elaine forgot to mention she serves on the advisory council. I, d I just don't pick activities out for seniors. I'm advised by a wonderful group of 13 seniors that are very active in the center, and Elaine's one. They shape the program, and, and they help me move the center forward. And I, I think it is in the right direction. Um, we're even offering, in, on June 8th and the 29th, um, mental health awareness classes. Um, we'll have a speaker talk about humor is fun and it's lifting and we're going to do an art project tied to that uh, that will be displayed at Riddle Hospital. So um, the arms that the senior center is taking is amazing so we can't strengthen that enough. But the age technically is 55 to connect with COSA and I'll leave that to Diana. Go ahead. What are our to get Diana. services? Get services. All right. So the caregiver support program is designed to um, assist the caregivers by providing some financial assistance, some emotional support, and some education. Um, so we provide support groups for caregivers, education. We have a caregiver academy series that we are, we have one more session left. We do it every spring. It's a six-part series where we bring professionals in throughout the community and talk about various topics. Um, we have one on the 16th, I think, is the last one. And then we do financial support. We do reimbursement. So our program has three parts. The older adults, for us, you have to be 60 or over. Um, that's for any of COSA services. We can have people who are 55 with a dementia diagnosis. So um, we provide help with the caregiver. Reimbursement is based on household income. All of our programs are in the caregiver support program. We provide some reimbursement for supplies and services that the caregiver is putting money out for, um, like personal care, respite, adult daycare, stair ride in the home, emergency response button. All of those things can be covered. Also, incontinence supplies, you know, depends, wipes, bed pads, that kind of stuff. We can provide some reimbursement to the caregiver for the money they're putting out. They don't, they can't use a family member, but we can reimburse for anybody else so they can choose it can be somebody the care receiver knows a neighbor a family friend just not family member which helps because they don't have to use an agency some people don't like a stranger coming in their home so um it goes between 200 and 600 dollars a month based on the household income how much we can reimburse them the second part of the program is the disability this is for anybody caring for somebody between the ages of 18 and 59 they have to have a diagnosed disability and cannot qualify for any other waivers, but that follows the same thing. We can reimburse for the same type of items. Um, the last part is the grandparent program. And this one I feel like is very underutilized. This is for any grandparents or older adults who are caring for children under the age of 18. So we can provide the same reimbursement to them for school supplies, seasonal clothing, extracurricular activities, um, babysitting, 
summer camps, that kind of stuff. Um, so grandparents can be reimbursed for taking care of their grandbabies. They can. It just can't be, um, they have to be the primary one providing the care. They don't have to have custody of the kids, but they have to be the primary one. The kids have to live in their yeah. home. Um, but yeah, we can definitely help them with some of the money that they're putting out because a lot of the grandparents are on fixed income and it definitely can be a big help for them. Um, so yeah, we also can do for the older adults, we can do like the assistive devices that Medicare and stuff might not cover. Like if they need a walker, or a railing installed and stuff like that. So we, uh, we can also help with those things to kind of help keep them in their home. Um, and help the caregivers because it's a big burden. That's Sorry. amazing work. That's amazing. Re that, that's an amazing resource. Mm -hmm. that, that's an important resource. Yes. So we're going to um, hopefully have this information up on the screen. Um, if not, it will be on our website. Um, and we'll push it out through our other uh, social media platforms and also probably put it um Let's see if we can get it added to our newsletter as well, because that's super important. So your last uh, event series for this this spring is June 16th, mm -hmm. relaxation techniques. Could you talk to us about that? Um, we have a massage therapist who's coming to do that. They just they talk about a lot of ways to relieve your stress as a caregiver, different breathing techniques, and different things you can do to kind of help yourself because you tend to forget about yourself when you're a caregiver. Um, we were offering, we are offering on both in-person and virtual. Up until now, most people are choosing virtual, but um, it's offered both ways. If anybody wants to register, they just have to contact me directly and we can get you registered for it. Is there a phone number they can call yes. you at directly? Best number to reach me, and this, any questions about the program as well, it's 484-540-0372. Uh, awesome, awesome. Great information. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So, is there a membership requirement? Is there costs involved here? How does one become associated or become a part of a friendship circle? So, we hope that you'll take part in an activity, come in for free in the very beginning. At your third visit, we hope that you'll make a membership contribution of $30 to the center to continue operations uh, that, can, that goes. But if you are just participating in a class like Zumba, weaving, um, we invite you to come in. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, and because you are uh, friendship, I'm sorry, Senior Community Services is a nonprofit entity, correct? Correct, and it does get funding uh, from COSA. Uh, it does get funding from our municipalities and uh, we thank East Lansdowne for believing in the seniors. It is so important that you come out, that you don't stay within your home and you either participate in an activity or, you know, take advantage of a program. Yeah, yeah. So what are some of your challenges? Talk to me about some of your needs. How could we become, how could we, being the, the municipality, the county, how can we be of, of service? Spreading the word. What do you think, Elaine? I, that's a joint from our advisory. We are finding as we recover from the pandemic that people have become comfortable staying indoors. So um, we have a wonderful following, and the people that are active are active and are back. But how do we encourage other residents? all people to say this is available for you. You don't know how many times we hear. I, ne I never heard of that. I didn't know this program was out there. It's there. It is up to us to find out what resources are available for our seniors. We're here for you. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So, and you are correct in that, and that's just why you're here. Because um, I've known Christine for quite a few years now. Yes. Um, and we've worked together in a different capacity in, in, in a different town. <laughs> um, but also um, just the work, just, just coming to n not only Friendship Circle, but sc Schoolhouse. So Senior Community Services has four accredited senior centers um, that are approved by the National Association for Senior Center. 
And then there's also um, Center Without Walls that provides activities in the Concord area. Uh, so the center is committed and believes in providing activities for older adults. It, it really is important that you engage and have people stay connected. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, thank you. Is there anything else that we missed? No, I Nothing. Mrs. I Brown? just want to add one other thing that yes, we, we do. Uh, we have a garden club. A garden club. Yes, and we have our, our garden. And I, I personally just love digging in the dirt because we are really close to God right then. Your and your ner amazing. nature. And um, then, of course, it motivates me to go home and yes. work in my own yep. yard, too. But um, and that's a way of being outdoors. And a lot of people, if they don't want to be indoors, mm -hmm. they could come and work in our garden club. And we have fruits and vegetables that we sell to our, to our members. Mm -hmm. And you get a bag of uh, kale for a dollar or something like that. And with the price of food right now, I say, think anything that we can grow can would I come be great. Shop? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. Um, so I am so happy to have you guys here sharing this important information mm -hmm. to the residents of East Lansdowne and also our surrounding communities. Um, you know, it, it's it, it's important work that you do, Christine, and I thank you. Mm -hmm. I thank you. I thank you for being here. I'm, my pleasure. And with that, East Lansdowne, the time is yours. Until next time, take care. God bless.